Good morning and welcome. It's Joy Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, just back from a week's holiday. So when I got into my art studio this morning, all I really wanted to do was just paint in my own piece, like with things that I had um, in my head all week while I was away. I didn't want to have to talk on the videos and explain to people. Um, so I've done a few videos this morning that are just me and my own uh, my own little world painting without having to think about explaining um, how I did something because I wasn't quite sure about how I was going to set out my work. So um, I have all these lovely colours mixed up. Um, I'll try and explain them as I go along. And... Um, I just really want to play with paint today. I, I just want to do a few things that were in my head and test them out. So um, sort of covered half the board, half of my canvas with this uh, sand. It's in my normal pouring medium. If you touch the title, the drop down box will appear. So many people keep asking me this. So I suppose I better keep saying it. The drop down box will appear and, and what how I mix my paints and my pouring medium and some pouring medium videos or recipes for beginners are actually on there too, on the um, links in the description box. Where I get all my materials from, my Amazon store is all in that link as well. So um, if you just click the link you will be in like Flynn. Okie doke, I'm just looking for, this is just, um, you know, the soft um, sponge brush, because I don't actually want to put it all poured on there, I just wanted to sponge it in. And I don't care that I've already got some paint on there, that's not, um, you know, it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if I'm mixing this a bit with the um, sand, absolutely doesn't matter. So it will hopefully just blend in there and go nicely. It doesn't have to be all solid blue. It doesn't have to be anything because um, it's abstract art and it's um, subjective. It can be whatever you choose it to be. Remember your art room, your rules, your way. So I just wanted to cover that a bit, but not too heavy in... Um, acrylic paint like when I pour the colours on I wanted to have it a little bit um, drier for when I do the balloon art on it which is what I'm going to do so as you know I've been using a balloon for forever and a day but so have many other people for years and years previous to I right back as far as I can remember 40 odd years when my son was at school and even when I was at school, we used balloons and things in art. So that is, um, yeah, been used for years, been there and done that, so to speak. So ideally, I think for my particular idea to work a little bit better, you can let the paint dry off a little bit so it's quite tacky. In fact, I do have some nice um, effects with balloons when I've let it just go tacky. So I'm not sure if this is going to work. I might just try it in this corner here. So this is the gorgeous gold, metallic gold. And I'm just going to kind of, I said I was going to try it, didn't I? But I can still walk away and leave this paint to dry off a, a bit more too. If it's not dry, you know, if it's not tacky enough. I actually want this tacky. Um, may look tacky, but you know, oh, that was a bit too much. But this is my cool red, and I put a good dash of the metallic copper or bronze, and it just makes the most gorgeous, um, deep, luscious red, razzle dazzle red, I call it. So, this is the metallic, I think it's metallic bronze or copper, can't remember now, it was mixed up a while ago. So I had it. Ooh. 
And then I might add some nice deep, this is the navy that I make out of um, cool blue and um, a dash of black and a dash of dark green. This is the sand colour, which was this one. It's already pre-mixed here. I think I'm going mad, I know. Just yeah, I just wanted to try some things. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least you tried. This is craziness, but you know, you just try these things and if they don't work out, they don't work out. But remember that there's always somebody loves your art. Even if you yourself think absolutely not, you can bet there's somebody else loves. So I've got a whole selection balloons because you know I love balloons as my tool so these are just blown up with air this one has a little bit of water in it to add a little bit more weight so like I said the particular results that I'm after I would probably get much better results if I let this dry off a bit but we'll give it a go see how it goes so this is the nice big one you pressed if your consistency of your paint is correct you can press down quite firmly so in this particular style i want it more medallions look at that that's nice now normally i would keep wiping the balloon off but i'm not going to do that today because there's not too many colors that can actually muddy in those in this particular little um work that I'm trying so I will do the next size down smaller ones so hear that sound now if you let the paint dry off even for you know quite a quite a bit till the actual sound of the balloon sounds like it's sticking to the canvas you get a really good effect with that too. So, um, but that's probably for another day. So this is the smaller one that more, looks more like the shape of an egg just because I haven't blown it up so much. So I want to roll, do my rolls on this. It's just sort of, it just creates a different effect. These actually come up so gorgeous when you've resin over them, the colors just pop out. And they're such, um, they sell well, these do, you know, people are amazed. Some people, you know, certainly don't even realize you've used a balloon unless you tell them for your tool. So see, as the paint dries, you can get some really cool effects on your canvas even more so with the balloon so I like that that's pretty gorgeous I just want to really explore what I can do with a balloon because it's um yeah so it's intriguing to me and it, I just enjoy it so much Oh my goodness, I've got to turn my washing machine off and I'm just talking to you because I have, um, I just switch off to my washing machine. So sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Good old Samsung singing to me. Okie doke. Well, I'm really happy with that. Happy. 
Be Happy Jean. I, I did another one previous to this that was lighter colours, but love it, love it, love it. Look at that. That is such a lovely gift. You will see it at the end in a frame, so you just see how you can make these paintings so much more sellable. So maybe one day I need to do a video on, you know, just preparing your canvas after it's finished for, you know, for presenting it to sale, I suppose. May help some people. If um, that's what you, you know, may be beneficial to you, just let, please let me know and um, I can organise a video, I suppose, if I get people that actually want that kind of thing. So look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm going to keep exploring with this particular different, I'm going to do a bit more um, ballooning now on another piece, but just in um, I, maybe not the kisses. I'm going to do a lot more of the balloon using it to roll. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love that. When that is dried and resined, well, it doesn't have to be resin. I, I could just, well, I probably will just do my varnish, which is the wipe on, wipe off kind of method I do with the pouring resin, which is in the drop down box underneath. You will find a link to my varnishing videos. Uh, you'll find a link to the recipes, beginners videos, a link to where I get all my materials from in the drop down box. If you don't know where the drop down box is, you might see a little V at, beside the end of my title of this video, or just click on or press the title and the drop down box will appear. So until tomorrow, you lovely people, bye for now.